Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have you a best of three between two big names, Light and Soma. First game is on Whiteout. And uh, Light, as you know, won KSL 4 recently. It's one of the best TV years on the planet. I think his win rate, including even his professional days, was like 70% or something insane. Uh, definitely up there with like Flash and C and all the great TV years. And um, on the other hand, we have Soma. The new Hope Preserve, one of the best uh, players on the planet, is actually an amateur, never was professional. Uh, is well known for bringing back the two hatch Muta style play against uh, Terran. And he has really good micro, really good macro, and you know, has these really good builds. He's just, you know, he's really good at coming up with builds. Uh, so yeah, very, one of my favorite Zerg players in the scene today. Now, Light was never able to succeed in winning any tournaments in the past. Largely because of his weak TVP, but uh, his TVP, he actually, when I, I saw in an interview that he actually learned from watching Flash VODs. Isn't that crazy? He, was, he learned from watching Flash VODs on how to play TVP and that, you know, he was able to learn from that so much. And also, I think he played as Protoss actually in one of the ASLs, so, you know, that probably helped him realize the weaknesses of Protoss and whatnot, so... So anyway, yeah, amazing player, one of the best players in the world with incredible TBZ playing against one of the up-and-coming amazing Zergs of today. So definitely a really interesting matchup here. Uh, Light, traditionally known for his amazing bio, M&M control. He's been playing a lot more like mechanic and going like, you know, Goliaths and tanks recently. So we'll see what he does this game. This map being a, a concept map, has like this area in the woods where you can't really see anything if you're a land unit. You kind of see uh, just one space in front of you. So very hard to navigate unless you're an air unit. Looks like Light choosing to build a uh, refinery, so uh, factory play. And as you can see, this drone, uh, walking through the, uh, the forest, unable to see much of anything really. And he scouts the back of light space. Uh, I think he wanted to look for an eight racks here. It's a pretty good space for an eight racks. Either that or he doesn't know the map. You know, either Soma doesn't know the map or he really knows the map. I'm gonna go with really knows the map. Uh, light with uh, a factory when 100 gas. Able to see uh, where the Zerg is exactly. Sees that it's 12 hatch. Now Soma almost never goes. Uh, three hatch layer. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a single game from him where he's gone three hatch layer. So, once again, going for that early gas. Uh, ooh, and looking to, to scout as long as he can, going all around the base to scout with his drone. He's able to see the gas, able to see the factory, and walks out of the base alive. Uh, Overlord being sent over as well for some additional scouting. Lone Marine walking out of the base to make sure the drone is gone. Uh, it's probably gonna go back home soon. SCV also alive. Gonna try to get as much information as possible to see if there's any lings being morphed for all-in lings. But it looks like he's gonna be able to to wall this up with a you know a supply depot or something. So. Just needs to see that the links are coming. Okay, link speed on the way. Uh, can you get this SCV? Oh, nice pickoff by Soma. This might give him an excuse to like make some more links here, because uh, Terran's not going to see it coming until later. Oh, but in the meantime, what do we have here? Light with two port wraith, an unusual build, I would say, and typically not one you do into a two hatch muta. And we see that uh, Light is lifting off his factory. Probably able to get a nice, I think this is a link tight wall, so nice uh, vulture out here on the outpost, promising to yell back to his teammates if there's any links coming by. Oh, and in the meantime, Soma with a lot of links. This is, this is a blind ling mass here. Uh, Soma's not gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be very disappointed when he comes to this snat here. And uh, Overlord attempting to scout here. Is he gonna see the starports? Oh, Marine is out. Oh, will he see it? 
Oh, and he turns around. He doesn't see the star ports. Oh, and he catches the vulture in uh, in the front. Vulture, able to run away. Soma poking up the ramp here. Just a sec. Oh, he sees the wall. One marine, one factory, but nothing being failed. Oh, he's got to suspect it now. Oh, he definitely knows now. Two race taking on Overlord here. Oh, this is such a waste. This could have been six drones. Two rates on, two rates on the way. You know, Soma's going to be kicking himself right now with this build choice. Oh, second Overlord being lost instantly. Going to be losing a third one real quick. Is the Spire almost done? Oh, Spire just finished. Do we have uh, Burrow? I don't think I saw him research Burrow. Ooh, nice creep colony. Loses one drone. About to lose the second one. Need to get out of here. Oh, Raid's picking up a second drone. And another Overlord. Oh, this is so much damage being done already. That's four Overlords and no Mutas yet. Two Raids with six kills. Potentially taking out more units here. Two Scourge, trying to figure out where the rates are. Intercept them while they are on the move. Oh, but I don't think they're going to... Uh, they're not going to be able to see where the rates are here. Oh, barely misses this one. Oh, he's going to have to... Ah! Oh, misses it. Four rates now. Oh, and some added... Uh, adding a barracks here for some Marines. Adding a eBay. Adding an Academy. You know, this is Marine Medic follow-up to Cloaked Rates here. About to be finished. Soma with a third hatchery. Uh, Ling's spreading out to see uh, if there's any rates on the way, but uh, we know that the rates are actually on the bottom here. Now we have five rates versus four Scourge and two Mutas. Oh my goodness. I think Soma might be dead here. He's the micro of his life to win this one. Ooh, Cloak is done. Picking off. Picking off an overlord instantly. Oh, very good micro. Dodging the, the Scourge here. Ooh, and Soma. Oh, Soma losing a Scourge to a fantastic micro by Light. Oh, all the Scourge being taken out by Raids. Oh my god, this is, this is Light at a sick micro over here. Oh, taking out all the Mutas. Oh, Soma is dead. So, Soma is dead. GG by Soma. And, oof, anticlimactic there. Uh, let me update the score. So yeah, pretty unfortunate. Soma just wanted to do a Ling mass there, blind. I think because of the way that light was uh, opened up with this factory, not at the entrance, uh, Soma probably thought that it was an expand. So he sort of just built Lings blindly, hoping that he could just do some damage, but wasn't able to. And that sent him way behind. Anyway, second, second game of our set is on Neo Silphid. Neo Silphid, a very popular map, a very good map, I think. One of my favorite maps. A three three player map. And I said a lot of good things about Soma, so hopefully he will show us a better game this time. Soma, I'm sure, also wants to show a better game as well after that sort of a one sided loss. Soma here at 7, Light at 12. So, yeah, last game it was just, just you know, the, the early decisions that you make are, can just have such a big impact, you know, just so six, uh, six larva turned into lings that could have been drones, you know, that alone just made a huge difference, delayed his uh, muta timing by a little bit, but then, you know, losing that scouting overlord, losing three more overlords, it's really well executed by light, you know, really good micro, didn't, didn't lose any of his rates uh, without any, you know, for any stupid reasons, I was able to micro against all the Scourge and then hit Soma when he was trying to drone up and build a little bit of a Muta Force. You know, that's his weakest time and he was able to take advantage of that. So very well done by Light. Looks like Light is building a Supply Depot near the entrance for a wall off here. Supply, Supply Barracks. Be able to defend against Infinite Links. Soma scouting towards the 6 o'clock and uh, 5 o'clock base gonna miss it but it looks like he's gonna make a uh, overlord first so 12 hat play probably 
And I'm gonna guess, again, that he's gonna do a layer first build, a uh, two-hat layer. As I said, I've never seen him go anything other than two-hat layer. Uh, sometimes uh, Hydra Dance, sometimes, you know, Ling Speed first, but almost always two-hat layer. Light. Next step in his wall off. And building a refinery again, so it's another, it's a factory opening. Soma, as we expected, building a hatchery at 12. Going to scout with his uh, drone now, in the right direction. So I'm curious what light does this time. It's definitely a factory opening with the early refinery. Soma's going to see it too. It's going to pass by this SCV actually. It says, hey, what's up? No, I'm not going to let you pass. Three, three hits. Well done. Yep, and fast gas once again by Soma. So that's going to be a two hat layer play. And that wall up prevents any sort of scouting, but he knows, you can sort of guess that it's going to be a factory play. Uh, and a nice factory in the corner, looking to lift off and, and uh, land here and build a Verge Vulture on the outside of the map. And ooh, look at this. A, an early marine being sent out here and a, and a bunker, but this is not an 8 racks bunker. This is a regular uh, opening bunker and Soma knows this. Sort of a bluff. Only two, two drones, uh, one drone? Two drones being coming out to deny this bunker. It's uh, a pretty good decision by Soma. You don't want to bring all your drones out here. And SCV faking in and out. Ooh, don't want to lose any drones here. Uh, yeah. Soma, ooh, almost getting the drone. And oh, you don't want this bunker to finish. Huge annoyance. Two links come in just in time. And uh, SCV is down, uh, bunker is gone. And uh, Marine, knowing that he's probably gonna be dead anyways, goes back to scout. And you can see the optimization being done by Soma here. He just only has two links and that's it because he knew that it was a bluff. So well done by Soma. Uh, Light able to scout and try to do some damage with his marine. Gonna lose this drone here, or not gonna, not, he's almost not gonna lose his drone here. Gets the marine. And ooh, this overlord looks like he's gonna be able to see this factory, perhaps? Oh my god, two star ports again. Wow, the mind games. Will Soma expect yet another two port? Now Soma sees this vulture. He's going to be thinking, why is there a random vulture on this hill here? So you can probably guess that there's a factory out here, but it doesn't matter. He's got a sunken colony. And two lings, perfectly positioned to stop any sort of vulture pass run by. And a drone too, wow. Really uh, meticulous here. He's probably thinking, hey man, just come by. There's nothing here, man. Just come by, just come by, just come by. Ooh, and two, two vultures. Ooh, two vultures running past. Drone drilling. Ah, takes out a vulture immediately. And ah, vulture. Ah, nice, nice block by the drones. And taken care of very well by Soma. Lost no drones there, only just two links. And uh, you know that there's no command center, so Soma knows that there's something up. Oh, he actually made uh, Burrow this time. Very nice. No overlords lost yet. Wraith, first Wraith about to la uh, arrive at the Zerg Nat. And drone being burrowed. Burrow, 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 burrow. Burrow, 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 Finally, an overlord to pick off. Burrow, 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 burrow. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Okay. It's one overlord. Burrow, 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 burrow. Nicely done. Burrow, oh, and he loses one drone. Finally. But you can see how much better Soma is doing this game. He only lost one overlord, one drone. Wraith is going to look for this other overlord. So that's two overlords so far, but you can see that, yeah, Soma is already popping, about to pop two mutas, a bunch of Scourge, only lost two overlords in a way better shape than last game, for sure. Oh, and Scourge almost hitting the raids here, Ooh, close call here. Scourge seeing everything, cloaking, one turret, no extra barracks. So I think Light knows that he's not as ahead this game, so he's not going to be building marines soon. He's going to want to build a few more wraiths. Uh, looks like one turret. That's a little bit ballsy of him. 
Is there a CB out here to build a command center? Wow. Okay, so now we have how many mutas? Five mutas versus five rates. So yeah, very good this game as opposed to last game. Oh, nice micro by light. Nice micro taking off another Scourge. But mutas are gonna win this fight if they commit. Nice, nice trade in here. Raids don't heal. Raids getting uh, damaged here. Third hat by Soma. Oh, and there's only one Overlord at the main. Oh, it's, he's sort of in trouble here if he gets the... Oh, the light doesn't pick off the Overlord. It does some damage to the Muta, but it's more Mutas than he does Raids throw. So, uh, light has to be very careful now. If the Mutas catch on to the Raids and chases them home, he can just lose all his Raids. Just be very careful right now. Uh, back at home, we see an Armory going up, which means Valkyries and a Command Center, but only one turret. Oh, uh, this is very dicey. Oh, 11 Mutas with plus one attack on the way. 11 Mutas versus eight Raids. Soma attacking the turret with his Mutas. Oh, takes out the turret instantly. Yeah, this is nothing. This is nothing for the, the Mutas right now. The Mutas are just gonna just go to town. Oh, and Overlords have speed. Only rates being built right now. Seven rates. Uh, SCVs know what the, what's up. He, they're trying to repair the heck out of the turret. Uh, loses an overlord. Uh, supply blocked. Oh, but 12 mutas. Oh man, this is eight eight rates. This is gonna be nothing for the mutas. Mutas taking out the <laughs> the turret being repaired by five SCVs. Oh, and he finally commits. It's a rates versus muta battle here. Uh, mutas damage though quite severely. Oh, SCVs, hero SCVs repairing the heck out of the rates. Oh, it looks like the Wraiths are getting the upper hand in this fight. Oh, five Mutas. Four Mutas. Th two Mutas. Oh, the Mutas are losing this battle. Oh, only three Wraiths though, but one Muta. Oh, taken out. And these SCVs heroically repairing. Oh, but extra five Mutas on the way. Five Mutas versus three Wraiths now. Once again, Light in trouble. No turrets at his, uh, at his main. Muta is chasing after the, the Wraiths here. No turrets anywhere. Oh, I think I think Light might be dead here. Oh, there's more Mutas on the way. One Valkyrie finally out, but oh, no turrets up from that. Soma picking off SCDs left and right, just doing a ton of damage. And finally, Wraiths are coming in to save the day, but uh, we just don't have enough here. Six versus four, uh, three Wraiths and one Valkyrie versus six Mutas here. Uh, Mutas taking a lot of damage from the Valkyrie though. He has to be a little bit careful. Plus one damage is done. Re-engages Valkyrie taking a ton of- oh no more rates, no more Valkyries. Oh 10 Mutas against nothing. Light is dead. Oh, light, light is completely dead here. And GG by Light. <laughs> wow. Wow that is- yeah that's 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 how two port raid uh, typically fares against a well-played uh, Two Hatch Muta. Two Hatch Muta considered pretty good against two poor Wraith, but you know, anything ha can happen as in game one. Uh, Light trying to play some mind games there, going for another two poor Wraith, hoping that Soma would have uh, ruled out another two poor Wraith. But nope, Soma was actually more than prepared this time. And we move on to the third set, uh, third game in the set, and uh, Circuit Breakers. Circuit Breakers one of the most overplayed maps in the pool uh, possibly the most or maybe second behind circuit uh, fighting spirit uh, we have soma at seven and light at 11. so soma playing the same against the same build with very different results first game uh, built too many lings took some early damage and then just you know snowballed from there and lost the game Second game, had a good start, you know, researched uh, Burrow, spread out his overlords well, and then was able to defend and then gain an advantage and just overwhelm Light with Mutas. Uh, Light, a little bit greedy, uh, didn't build enough turrets and just got run over by, by Mutas. And so this game, let's see what, what happens. You know, Light might go for another two port rate, which would be <laughs> three two port rates in a row, which would be quite a surprise, but in this situation he's actually diagonal so wouldn't be as good of an opening looks like he's actually gonna do an eight racks opening 
which is also not favorable given the distance, the diagonal distance. So much using to do the horizontal scouting. This allows you to keep your overlord at the nat if he's at seven or move it up and keep it at the nat if the turn is at 11. So uh, I like this overlord scouting pattern here. Uh, looks like Soma is gonna do a 12 hatch. Second overlord heading towards one o'clock. 12th uh, drone being built here. And uh, hatchery about to be built. There we go. Terran Barracks about to be finished along with the Supply Depot. And another scouting SCV for dual scouting. Very customary in an 8 racks build. You want to be able to know exactly where the opponent is as quickly as possible. Build that bunker and do a, enough, a lot of damage as soon as possible. And uh, Soma with a diagonal hero drone scout is going to see exactly what's going on as soon as possible. So this is a really good scout for for the Zerg in, in this case. And again, two hatch, two hatch layer opening with an early gas. Uh, Soma scouts the early racks, sees the two uh, Marines heading out. Uh, is actually choosing to go back home to the Terran home to be able to, I think, to see if there's a gas being built. Because you don't want to, you know, discount the possibility of a factory follow-up. So. He's going to be able to see no mining on the gas, so can rule that one out. Okay, so bunker being built at the bridge for a relay bunker system. Drones finally coming out. We got eight drones versus two SCVs and two Marines. This is a very important game, uh, part of the game here. Okay, drones rallying up. Oh, and going in, surrounding the bunker. Oh, getting damaged by the Marines, but oh, able to push them away from the bunker. And... Oh, not enough uh, room to fight though. Turns around. Zergling's about to morph. Uh, second bunker being put down by, by light. Creep colony on the way. Six lings and a drone coming back home. Oh, and picks off the SCV. Very nicely done by Soma. Uh, light, three, two SCVs left here. Another SCV being picked off. Uh, last SCV, uh, creep colony is done. Oh, Marines being micro backwards. Oh, and the SCV gives up and goes home. Soma with a pretty good defense here, only lost one drone, uh, bunker being cancelled, uh, sunken colony is done, and he's going to move his lings around to get a scout because he actually doesn't know what the follow-up is, uh, it could be more barracks, it could be uh, a late expand, he has no idea right now, should be moving this overlord pretty soon, but in the meantime, Light actually has a lot of marines, so uh, Soma has to be very careful here. He needs to get a scout, but he also can't really afford to lose this many lings. This bunker is still alive. Soma with his layer upgrade. Light finally getting a gas. Uh, he's opting to go for a command center now. He has a lot of marines. Should be able to defend against any sort of ling aggression. And the lings aren't going to see the marines. Oh, get sandwiched between the wall and the marines. Oh, so many lings being lost. Oh. Only three left. But he's able to see the command center. And he's going to pick off the SCV. Nicely done. Buying some time. SCV has to come out to build the S uh, command center. Oh, another SCV being targeted and takes it out. Nice. And sees the academy. Oh, can he get another SCV? Oh, nice, fo nice focus, but misses the SCV. Light able to pick off all the links. Didn't take too much damage there. And Soma, with the Overlord here, will be able to know exactly when Light is moving out. Let's see. Yeah, and uh, he needs to build an extra Sunk here. I think there's about 12 Marines. Yeah, you definitely need at least two Sunks against this. In the meantime, we have a Spire uh, started by the Zerg player. Zerg player looking not too bad here. Having the Sick Flings will be pretty useful. Might have not needed the sunken if it weren't for uh, the six things. This bunker and a, a, an eyesore for the Zerg, but otherwise harmless for the moment. Terran with the engineering bay, stim being started. Two sunkens uh, will be more than enough against 12 marines. And let's see what light does here. He's 
It's probably just gonna look at it and fall back. Ooh, Marine taking a pot shot. Third Slunken being built. I guess uh, Soma trying to stay safe here. Cancel the creep. Marine that was damaged tells his pals, hey man, just leave me here. I can't make it. Volunteers to stay in the bunker. Turrets being uh, built. Compsat also being built. Three barracks total now. Finally, three medics being made. Accompany the 11 marines. Soma with a third. Now, light scans the spire, so he knows exactly what's going on. He can guess that the mutas are about to pop, and Soma getting plus one carapace. Looks like he's going to be doing a muta heavy build here. And it looks like he's going to be taking out this bunker first. Lone Marine. Oh my. He needs to micro this out. Soma, the muta is taking so much damage. Oh, so much damage. Oh my goodness, 90 damage. Oh, that's kind of uncharacteristic. I don't think that was worth it. That's, oh, that's a ton of damage. In any case, this is a very important moment in the game. 12 marines, 3 medics versus 6... Oh, Soma! Okay, nice. Caught him in time. Picks off 1 marine. Uh, 9 mutas right now, but only 7 here. Light with some good micro. Ooh, picks off some more marines. Oh, nice micro. Picks off 2 marines. Light needs to save his marines here. And not also not stim that much. Ooh, stems again. Uh, medics have a good amount of mana. Oh, nice. Uh, Soma moving away his damage mutas. Ooh, nice micro by Light. Moves in when Zerg didn't expect to get some damage off. Reinforcement marines coming in. Ooh, Soma. Oh, unable to take out more marines here. If these reinforcements uh, join the main army, it's going to be really tough to take out. SCV knows that there's a third at 1 o'clock. Light. Putting on the pressure with his marines. Moving across the map. Oh, taking some more damage. Oh, taking some more. Okay, so now there's 11 mutas. It's time for Soma to shine. It's now or never. Oh, super good micro by light. And the reinforcements are coming in. Oh no, this isn't good for Soma. No, oh, this is a lot of marines. Nice pickoff. Nice pick. Ooh, but four mutas. 11 mutas just became seven instantly. Light with some superb micro there with the plus one attack. And, ooh, it looks like some of these medics are out of energy, though. So very uh, tough situation for Light. A little bit overextended, but sees that there's a Hive up with no la uh, no Hydra Den. A plus one Carapace is almost done, though. And once again, 11 Mutas. So Soma, it's time, for, time to shine, man. Ooh, Light catches him off guard. Does a little more damage. Oh, a lot more damage. A lot of Marines left now. Ooh, another kill on the Muta for one Marine. It's not quite worth it here. Uh, two stray marines trying to do some harass. I think Soma sees this, sending his limbs over. Oh, nice uh, micro by Soma, catching the marines between the bridge. Oh, but taking too much damage. Oh, the stray marines being uh, cleaned up here. And light with, wow, that's a very fast attack. So he was, oh my god, that's irradiate already. Oh. Soma's got to be a little bit worried by this. I mean, this is just mass mutas here. And Light looking, scans and sees, yeah, there's a ton of mutas. All he needs to do is just do what he's doing right now with his fast vessels and fast irradiate. It's going to be tough for Soma. Soma coming in, takes out the turret. Only one turret in the main. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage here. Second turret being taken out. One SCV killed. Two SCVs. Three SCVs, four SCVs. Marine, oh, Mutas, oh, so, so painful, so painful for the Mutas. Oh, they're half of them severely damaged. In the meantime, second group of Mutas waiting to merge with the first group. Soma, in the meantime, adding sunken colonies. Light knows that the Greater Spire is about to finish. Light scanning to see the situation at the net. Sees only four socks. Uh, I think it's move out time. It's go time for light. 
two science vessels with irradiate almost done. Ooh, Soma <laughs> needs to have the micro of his life to beat this push over here. 1-1 one, one Marines, almost 1-1. One, one. Uh, second group of Marines doing a uh, harass at the, the main, but uh, these turrets are pushing them away. He needs to defend these, these uh, vessels. Oh, Scourge! Oh, misses the vessels! Oh, Soma so close. Soma, scanning, sees that there's only four Sunkens at the net. He's gonna be rushing to get the get to the uh, Zerg net over here. And finally, we have uh, Guardians by Soma. Four morphing, four done. Uh, but the, the Marines are already at home. Are there any Guardians here? Any Guardians? Oh my god, two Creep Colonies morphing. Four Sunkens. Oh, this doesn't look good. I think Soma's gonna lose this net. There's no layer. There's no, uh, there's no Mutas. There's no Guardians here. No, not even a defensive matrix here. Light, very confident that he can break this. And it's gonna be broken. Muta's hatching, but to no avail. Ooh, eight guardians at the net doing a ton of damage. No SCVs though, so far. Uh, these guardians are looking very menacing. Let's see what the Terran has at home. <gasps> Three port wraith with cloak. Amazing response by Light. Oh my god, there's no devourers here. Soma with one stray mutilus trying to defend against a ton of rates. Meanwhile, the Zerg Nets been taken out by Marine Medic. There's nothing at nothing at home. Oh, Soma's GG's. Wow. That was some really good decision making by Light. Yeah, the Light stayed on you know, with a few marines he had, just kept Soma busy the whole game. In the meantime, teching up to two port wraith, um, two port vessels, sorry, with the irradiate and scanning to see that there is only a, uh, to scanning to see that Soma's going fast guardian. Scans to see the sunken colony count and then moves out at just the right time. And when he sees the guardians morphing, builds a third star port. So really well played by uh, by light. Very, very well played. Updating the score to 2-1 two, in favor of Light. So Light wins the best of three. And uh, well played by both pairs, but uh, Light wins the, the set this time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.